Welcome to the Corel Paint Shop Pro tutorial on creating transparent cutouts using shapes and text. Creating transparencies in an image editing program means having the ability to set up part of your image to be invisible and see through. Then you can add another image or background behind your cutout so it shows through. Most, if not all, image editing applications require a lengthy multi-step process to create cutouts. Paint Shop Pro, on the other hand, has special tools to vastly shorten the process. Let me show you how. As usual, go to the tutorial page and download the written tutorial and sample images if you'd like to follow along. First, let me show you the usual way this is done. In Paint Shop Pro, open up an image into the Edit tab. I'll start with this one. Select the Preset Shape tool and go find the Heart Shape. Use this to draw the heart on top of the baby bear. Resize and reposition the heart so that it covers both the child and the stuffed bear. Easy so far, right? Now we need to make this vector shape a selection. Make sure your shape is still selected and go to Selections from Vector Object. Next, we need to add your newly created selection to the background layer. Over in the Layers palette, right-click on the background layer and select Promote Selection to Layer. Now, hide or delete all the layers except for the one you want, and you're done. Not a super long process, but there is an easier way. First, though, let's check our results. Go to File, Export, PNG Optimizer. If you want to maintain transparency, the PNG format is the way to go. To learn more about using this PNG optimizer, check out the links on the tutorial page for related tutorials on transparency. In the Colors tab, and depending on the file size you're looking to achieve, select Palette Based or 16.7 million colors. Go to the Transparency tab. Select Single Color Transparency and Existing Image or Layer Transparency. This will maintain the transparency you created. Click OK and save it to your desktop. Open up an empty tab in your browser, preferably Chrome. Drag and drop your PNG image right into the tab. This is what you should see. Proof that it all worked. Alright, let's try the more efficient way using the Shape Cutter tool. Return to Paint Shop Pro, close the currently open image without saving it, and reopen it. Draw out the same heart shape and at least again resize it so it covers the child and the stuffed bear. In the Horizontal Tools palette at the top of your screen, click the Cutter Preview icon. A semi-transparent mode is activated that lets you preview the cutout. You can now adjust the position, size, or rotation of the proposed cutout using the adjustment handles. Once you're satisfied with the size and position, click the Shape Cutter Tool icon to the left of the Cutter Preview icon to lock it in. In a couple of seconds, your image is complete. No more messing with selections or layers. A bit easier, right? We can also create the same effect with text as a cutout. Let's try that. Open up a favorite photo, maybe from your travels. Here I have one from my travels in Bryce Canyon, Utah. Select the text tool and type one word that's big and blocky enough to fill much of your photo. You may need to experiment with the font and font size to get what you desire. Arial Black works well. Using either the text tool or the pick tool, you can also instead resize it using the handles including stretching it vertically. With the text tool selected, use the same tools in the toolbar starting with the cutter preview to view and make any adjustments. Again, you can move the text around while still seeing the entire photo underneath. Once you're satisfied, click the text cutter tool and wait a few seconds again. Selections are made, new layers created, merge together, 
and a new image is created. Once that is finalized, you can continue using the PNG optimizer to use this on a web page. Or use the flood field tool to fill in the background with color and save it as a JPEG. Again, no messing with selections or layers. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial and sample images to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for working with transparencies in PaintShop Pro.